That fire, she was splashed across the front pages of the lads' mags and the noughties, but behind the glossy exterior, Kelly Brook was actually struggling with her body confidence. Now, in her 40s, she is super proud of how she looks, and so she should be. It is the gorgeous Kelly Brook! <laughs> I oh. believe it's having a rat girl summer. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I love this whole thing of being a rat girl. I'm all about that. It's empowering, do you think? I think yeah. so. I think when January comes, we always, like, panic, don't we? We think, right, we've got to get our bikini body on for the summer. And I think it's... Not you, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and I just think it's really nice that we've now got, like, coined a phrase and we can all just embrace it because I'm all for it. So what does that mean to you, then? I think it means not putting any pressure on myself, not having to have, like, some deadline and achieve mm. some weight that is not sustainable. It's mm. just about embracing who you are throughout the year and just having, you know, confidence in your own skin and just being, you know, the best version yeah. and the healthiest of version of yourself, it's, but yeah. not to look a certain way, and I think that's really what it's about. Mm. So when you've spoken in the past about feeling, you know, happier and more confident now than you did in your 20s when we're seeing all those photographs, <laughs> yeah. were you under enormous pressure then? Well, the thing is, when you're 20, well, for me, when I was 20, it was... It wasn't difficult to stay thin mm. because yeah. your metabolism works a lot better, you're younger. You just and look like that, You right? just do. Yeah. Like, when I look at 20-year-olds now, I'm like, oh, look at your skin and, oh, your body. And it's just, like, a completely different time in your life, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't think I was completely aware of um, the kind of how my body was going to change as I got older. People mm. would say, oh, you know, a moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips, you shouldn't be eating like that. And I could, I could eat whatever I wanted. Mm. And, uh, and I was busy, so I was running around. But I wasn't happy because mm. I was busy and I was, like, married to my work and I wasn't it was healthy. a distraction, then, the busyness. Yeah. The yeah. busyness is a distraction. Yeah. You know, you're having takeaways, you're partying mm. too much, oh. you're, you know, you're kind of... Sounds oh, great. I yeah. mean, it was fun. <laughs> it was yeah. fun, but... It definitely caught up with me in my 30s. Mm. And then all of a sudden, that lifestyle yeah. caught up with me and my body, and I just didn't recognise myself anymore. And I thought, mm. oh, wow, look, what's, you know, what's that here? And what's that here? And, yeah. and I just... And I didn't feel good. And mm. I remember, like, going onto, like, a red carpet, yeah. and I'd always, like, gone to events, and you know this case, yeah. you go to a lot of events, and I remember the paparazzi asking me to breathe in. Uh, <gasps> yeah, that happens, yeah. And I was like... Oh, and no. I tried to, and wow. I couldn't! <laughs> Yeah, I know terrible. you said it, it felt like it affected you physically, but emotionally and mentally, how did it affect you? I just think I just I think I walked away from that and I thought, well, I've just got to embrace it, mm. and this is who I am now, and I'm not now going to go on a crazy diet mm. to try and be that 20 year old girl because I'm not mm. that. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm you know I'm in my late 30s, early 40s. I need to just embrace my body. People need to get used to seeing me yeah. like this because I yeah. think a lot of it yeah. comes from people around you looking yeah. at you going, oh, you put on a bit of weight, what are you going to do about it? Or commenting on it. It's and weird that that's OK, because yeah. that's quite intrusive. Yeah. It was so yeah. normal, though, back in those... Yeah. I mean, when you were on the front cover of FHM, for example, and, and lads' mags and things like that, it was very <laughs> normal to just remember people in that box in yeah. that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you want to have a long career and you yeah. still want to be, you know, in the public eye, you've got to let them grow up with you and yeah. see a new you for about, you yeah. know, a good amount of time yeah. so that you don't yeah. end up making that the Do focus. you know what I love when you yeah. see on social media they'll put up a picture of somebody and they'll say, you know, you'll never guess who this is and look how much they've changed in 40 years. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> But do you feel like a different person? Because actually yeah. you seem really authentic and yeah. happy and it's genuine and it exudes from you. It's just like, I know it's a bit cheesy, but it's that glint, isn't yeah. it, in your eye where you're really comfortable and confident. Yeah, I mean, I got married last year and I've Great. got a lovely... Thank you. I've yeah. got a lovely supportive partner that I've been with for a long time. He's Italian, so, Ooh. you know, he's always going to want to eat food. And yeah? Oh, is that a picture? Yeah, yeah, so he's always going to want to have pasta for dinner, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, but, no, he's... <laughs> You know, food for them is a religion. You yeah. Know? And, it, and, and it's not just about what you're eating, it's that time. It's taking the time to sit down, mm. not just enjoy your food, enjoy what that's giving.
giving you and also spend time with the family. Yeah. And it's yeah. that, it's that slowing down. And I think that's, yeah. you know, we're so time poor these days. And I think it's about slowing down, making that time for family, not being married to my work, being married mm -hmm. to him yeah. and my dog and being at home and just being <laughs> available. Love, love are you that. learning Italian? Definitely married to my dog, oh, by the way. Are you, are, you gonna, are, are you learning Italian? I'm not. No. You're not? Oh, <laughs> 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 to speak it for you. That's, that will do. Know, right? his, his third language is English, yes, right? So yeah. his first is Italian, then it's French, yeah. and then it's English. And then it's abstract English. Oh, I know. Now, look, girl, I've got to ask you something. Yeah, we've got to get real on this show right about now. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. Robbie Williams did a podcast and he was talking about, you yeah. know, marriage life, you know, marriage life sex and yeah. sex before marriage is different. Yeah. And it's, like, completely stopped. I mean... Oh, gosh. A year in... A year in. Oh, am I still getting it? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it so, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what you're asking. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, you say you're it's it's your your it's it's Does it change? Has it changed? Well, I'm very, I'm very um, touchy feely, and I'm quite, I'm into PDAs. He's not so much. So I like a little kiss and a cuddle on the side of the street or in the car, and yeah. he's just a bit like, get off me, because he doesn't realise that <laughs> I it can just be. Like that, no, but no? he thinks it has to lead to something else, doesn't oh, it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not just yeah. a kiss and a cuddle. Right. So yeah, we don't have to worry about that. We do. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be together, though, ten years. Does it, does yes. it feel different being married as opposed to just together? It does, it does. I definitely mm. think that we're looking forward now and with like and, and what that looks like for us, you know, because he is Italian and he's got mm. family abroad and, you know, everything was kind of my way for a long time and it's now about, you know, compromise and it's like not always spending summers with my family in Kent, it's like spending more summers abroad and being with him and his family and him going home. Did you marry home. abroad as well then? We did, we yeah. got married, yeah. He's okay. got, um, yeah, he's got a place in Italy oh. um, and we got married there, which is, was really oh, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, oh. yeah, really nice. He's a lovely guy and he's, you know, he comes from like a farming background, so he's very normal. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Just to take a minute before we have to end, we were talking earlier about our, our dads and when we'd made them proud. Oh. Um, I know for you it was very poignant when you were doing Strictly, yes. wasn't it? Yes, yeah, it was, yeah, because I lost my dad in 2007 oh. um, during Strictly Come Dancing, and I always remember it... So, like, it was such an amazing show to be a part of. And also, because he used to take me to my dance classes when I was a kid in his little truck. He was a scaffolder. Oh, no. He used to drop me off. There he is. Dropped me oh, off in his truck. And, um, yeah, so he, you know, when he was ill, you know, he used to watch the show and love the show. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a really special time. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely memories. Just, yeah. uh, Kelly, it's been a joy to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Me. <laughs>